right, everybody, I'm here at the annual El Segundo Star Party, where the public gathers to see what's really up in our skies. Star Party is an annual event we've been doing the last few years. Uh, we have the South Bay Astronomical Society come out and provide telescopes for all our junior astronomers and they come out and get to work with some very polished astronomers. The South Bay Astronomical Society formed over 20 years ago. Tonight its members volunteered their time and shared their telescopes with nearly 150 attendees at Hilltop Park. We will try to uh, find whatever we can in the night sky and share those views to whomever uh, wants to look, which most people don't get that opportunity to uh, view through a telescope very often. So it's always a nice eye-opening thing for the kids and also for the adults as well. The sky viewing event was a community effort. Uh, we work with a couple different departments. Our public works and uh, our, our water department assist us with, with shutting all the lights down so gives uh, us best visibility. I like the support that we get from the city of El Segundo and that they allow us to have this really neat uh, parking lot to set up in. They turn out the lights for us and they do a really good uh, setup for the audience that we have. The party under the stars was a family favorite. We love the stars. We love, you know, the girls and I love astronomy. Um, we go out and look at the stars all the time from our house. So the chance to actually use some really high-powered telescopes and get a closer look. We take advantage of it. It's a really great thing that they put on here. It's been amazing. I'm so appreciative of El Segundo to uh, host something like this so close to us. I have three small children and it's kind of hard to make it far out to the Griffith Observatory or somewhere, you know, a little bit further out. I love stars. They just twinkle and I love the planets. I'm here with Larry from the South Bay Astronomical Society. He actually hand-built his own telescope. Tell us, Larry, about the special telescope and all of his different features. This is a Newtonian. It's a reflector. And uh, it uses a mirror and not lenses. And I ground the mirror. It took me about 55 hours to do that. And then I needed a tube, so I decided to make it out of wood. So it's a nine-sided tube made out of poplar. Earth is in the Milky Way galaxy, and there are billions of galaxies in the universe. It's really quite a mind-boggling experience to look at the various objects and, uh, and just wonder, you know, what else is out there, who knows. Members of the South Bay Astronomical Society also shared their knowledge with the community. There are nebulas that we can see. In fact, we'll see one tonight, the Orion Nebula which are gas clouds that you can see that are lit by nearby stars. So there's a lot to see out there. And uh, it's half the fun is hunting them down and finding them in the night sky because that's not the easiest thing to do. It's uh, the beauty of it to me. That's what I love about it the most, the sprinkling of stars. You know, and all stars have different colors. Most of them appear white to our eyes, but every now and then, like. Tonight I will try and show people a what's called a carbon star, which is a very deep cherry red colored star. And when you can find some of those, it's like a ruby among diamonds. Especially on a partly cloudy night where you're looking and looking and I don't, you don't see it. And then all of a sudden the clouds part and that object comes into view. It's like magic. And that's beautiful. With the help of the South Bay Astronomical Society and the city of El Segundo, the public was able to get a sneak peek of just how vast the universe really is. Reporting for El Segundo TV, I'm Amy Liu.